Hello my friends, followers and not yet but hope to be soon followers on the internet. Welcome to my new video. So today we'll do things a little bit differently. So uh, I've already built something, you can see it in the background, uh, which is um, basically an application which puts tweets based on their location on a map in real time. And uh, basically as my last videos didn't raise so much awareness, I want to first check if you really like to see uh, how I did it and then we can do it together in a separate video. So so I will uh, publish a new video with, with a detailed explanation on how this can be implemented when uh, this video gets 10 likes and my channel subscribers number grow up to 120. So um, what you can see here in the background already is um, the application which um, as mentioned is taking tweets in real time putting them on a map based on their location and you can filter it based on certain words, hashtags, regions, um, whatever. Um, and yeah, I, I think it's fun. And the fascinating thing about this uh, is we'll make use of several different technologies in very short time. So um, we have the Twitter um, on, on top where different users post different kind of stuff each each, sec, uh, each second basically all the time uh, to different kind of topics and what we want to uh, achieve is building a front end based on python python flask javascript and the map with uh, leaflet javascript in which different kind of users then can see um, who tweeted what uh, or in which region certain tweets are um, um, aggregated very um, to, to a certain topic in, in very much detail and so on. And the interesting thing is really we want to decouple things. So we'll make use of an event bus based on Apache Kafka in the middle and we'll create a so-called Twitter producer which at the same time is a Twitter consumer. So it consumes data from Twitter based on our keywords and it then produces data to our Apache Kafka event bus. And then on the other side, we'll write a short Twitter consumer uh, with Python and Python Flask, which then out of the event bus consumes the data and basically uh, provides them as API to our front end. So we'll make use of different kind of technologies in very short term, uh, in very short time. But uh, I think the setup makes sense to really decouple things here and to be totally independent here. All right. So. I hope I get some likes and then <laughs> we'll provide the video to you, of course. Bye-bye. Thank you.